Christ died for us. Maybe that's extreme circumstances. We might be willing to die under extreme circumstances. We might be really able to die for a good person. But for the vilest criminal, a person who had made no contribution to society and who seemed to delight in being an enemy to all that was good and right, would you die for that person? Hardly. Yet, that's exactly what Christ did. He died for you and me, card-carrying sinners and enemies of God. It was Christ's sacrifice that was demonstrated just how reasonable, how unreasonable God is. His love is so great, so reaching, so overpowering that Jesus Christ, the only perfect, righteous person who ever lived, willingly died in place of unrighteous men and women, such as you and me. We should never cease to thank God for his love of unreasonable. I tell you that in the same way, there is more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 who needs no repentance. Now to him who's able to keep us from stumbling, and to present us faultless before his presence. To him be glory and honor and majesty. To God our Savior who is wise, who has dominion and power both now and forever. If you believe that Jesus died for your sins and rose from the dead, and now sit it at the right hand of God, the Father, making intercession for you and me. The Bible says you have eternal life. I'm so glad that I know Jesus. I'm so glad that one day I was confused about life. I wanted to do something with my life and didn't know what to do. But I got on my knees and I prayed to God the Father says, God, what would you have me to do? At that day, that day God spoke to me and gave me a mission. He gave me a life. He gave me something to look forward to. He gave me something to live for. If you don't have something to live for, you don't have anything to die with. God is our refuge and our help in our very time of need. Have you tried it? The question for you today, have you made God? Have you made Jesus your Lord and Savior? Have you trusted your life to him? He's able to do exceedingly more than you can ever think of. Yes. Don't go through life struggling, wondering about what tomorrow holds and what is going to happen to you when you leave this world. If Jesus is in your life, if you have confessed your sins, and ask Jesus to come into your life and forgive you. The Bible says he'll cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And I can tell you one thing for sure, that we'll all be celebrating in heaven one of these days. Because when this old earthly journey is completed, I got another home. Not made by human hands. High and in the heaven. Are you ready to meet Jesus? Are you sure that if you went, if you died today, if today you took your last breath on this earth, that your next breath will be taken in the presence of God? The doors of the church is open. If there's anyone here that does know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to tell you that God loves you so much that he sent his son on this earth to die that you may have eternal life. Spend your life with him in heaven. God loves you. Always has and always will.
Lord, I'm trying. Nine and a half won't do. And I often wonder what in the world is she talking about? Ninety nine and a half won't do. If you lived a perfect life, you still couldn't make ninety nine and a half. But you know what? You don't have to. Jesus did it for you. All you need to do is receive Jesus. And you you got your hundred. Jesus made a hundred, not ninety nine and a half. But we want to reach out and help some, somebody. And this Christmas, we are done. Come on for Christmas. We have done it before.